Just two days until the AP Calc exam. AP particularly enjoys asking about particle motion, so let's review number two from last year's exam. This is a calculator problem. Pause to read part A. We're given velocity and we're looking for position, so let's take it back a derivative. This sounds like a job for the fundamental theorem of calculus. Particle P starts at five and we get the change in position by integrating from zero to one of the velocity. Same process for Q, which starts at 10 and has a different velocity function. Do not try these integrals by hand. Bring out fn int for this one. Pro tip, store the velocity functions in y1 and y2 so that you can use them in the rest of the FRQ. Voila, now pause for part B. To check if P and Q are moving towards each other, we need to know their positions and the signs of their velocities. Well, we already found their positions at time one in part A. To find their velocities, just plug one into their velocity functions. P is to the left of Q and moving right since it has a positive velocity at one, and Q is moving left since it has a negative velocity at one, hence the particles are moving towards each other. Cool, now pause for part C. Well, acceleration is just the derivative of velocity, so we use handy dandy and derivative to find the derivative of VQ at time one. So the acceleration at time one is positive, and we already found that the velocity at time one is negative, hence the particle speed is decreasing because the velocity and acceleration functions at time one have opposite signs. And finally, pause for part D. Distance traveled means we need to integrate velocity, but be careful. We want total distance, which means we need to add both forwards and backwards motion. So we need the absolute value of P's velocity function in the integral. And that's a wrap on this particular question. See you tomorrow for more AP Calc.